Hello, Marianne here again. I have been painting a lot outside in my big, cheap uh, sketchbook. This is how it looks right now. Today I want to show you how I painted this landscape. I have been falling in love with the painting outside and I have been painting outside in my garden and I have also been painting in the landscapes in the countryside surroundings using the homemade crochet box that I showed you in my last video which I can see had a lot of interest so I thought this video will be uh, something interesting for you to see as well. Um, as you may know I have been wanting to Losing up my work, my painting style, I want it to be more expressive, more telling, uh, have more movement and life, and I guess also be a little bit more me. So definitely uh, more art kind of work, can you say that? Anyways, as you may know, I come from painting in a very realistic style and I want to learn another language, another way of saying things. So if you are here, I'm not presenting you with the final product, but you can follow my journey and see how I develop this new style, if you can call it that. And uh, maybe you can get inspired to, to paint and get outside to paint as well. So this painting, I actually started it outside uh, on location in a park, which has a lake in the middle. It's a very beautiful place that I have been visiting sometimes and this time I went to paint it. I started it and I sketched the landscape with a pencil first and started to put the first uh, layers of colors on it but it was very very windy and at the same time I was sitting with the parking behind my back so a lot of people were coming and going all the time and all combined together was getting me too nervous to continue so I decided to take some pictures of the place and get back and to finish the painting here at my studio and lucky for you I could record all this and show you that here in, in this video. I will put some images of the landscape so you can see what I'm referencing and um, yeah I think I will just leave you with the images of me painting and I will insert some comments with voiceover while you are watching it and I hope you stay until the end and I will catch up with you there. on the little palette that I have in my hand are the same ones that I mixed the day I was on location and I try to use the same materials, brushes and colors as I had on location and um, the only thing that I added was a bigger plate because I have realized that that little color palette that I made is too small to mix it on. It means that I have to clean it up each time I want to mix a new color. One thing is that it uh, takes me time to do that and the other thing is that it's not easy to clean a palette when you are on location with the wind and you don't have so many places to put your things on. And So um, I will definitely look after a bigger plate. Other than that, the pochette box has working really nicely and I have been taking the right things with me at the moment, so I'm happy with that.
here I'm blocking in more colors. I'm putting in a lot of different greens. I'm trying to put some, can you say flat colors, is the, the word that comes to my mind. Uh, meaning um, filling in one color and not mixing it too much with other ones. Defining uh, the different areas uh, in the painting. Trying to find the right values and stuff like, like that. really really trying very hard not to go into details and trying to avoid putting a lot of small dots of color as you can see I, I did a little bit of it but so far I'm okay with it but my my wish is to paint where with as as few details as possible of this kind like keep keeping it a little bit rough and what for me can feel like a little bit unfinished, that is the way that I want it to, to look like. And that is what is difficult to me, but um, I'm learning. The place where I was sitting was up in a hill. This place is, uh, has a lot of hills and I was sitting on top of one of them and the lake was in the bottom. So there was a lot of trees and bushes looking down below. So I had to think about to tell that, putting as few details on the trees and bushes far away and more details in the plants closer to me. And at this point I was actually very happy, actually really really happy about how this was looking. Not because it was perfect in any way, but I was loving the expression that the piece was getting. But then I started working on the tree on the right side of me and I actually did it too big. I put too much uh, foliage and that was not the what I was aiming for and I ended up covering up the beautiful background that I made at the beginning. At this point it's okay but you will see that later I will paint even more branches on the other side, on the other page of my sketchbook and it will end up cover covering up too much of the background. I was so focused on getting the foliage of the tree right that I totally forgot to think about the composition. But, well, things, things happened and this is the way I learn, and it is interesting even having experience with composition and painting when working on new ways of telling something, I totally forget 
about the composition, which is so important. But beside that, I really like how I managed to get the sunlight showing through the leaves and the shadows there were, where there were a lot of leaves. And by the way, if you haven't uh, figured that out, I am painting this with a wash, which is a um, material that I'm liking to work with right now, because it is opaque and I can layer things on top of each other.
and before finishing up my painting or my sketch I'm adding a branch that is very close to me with some big exaggerated leaves and some grasses and dry things in the front. And lastly, I'm trying to sign the painting with a, a, a brush and I'm still trying to figure out how to, how to sign my work with brush. It's really not easy. And I'm wondering if anybody can read what, what says there. But um, this is a sketchbook, so it's good for practice, right? And yeah, there is the finished painting. As I said and at the beginning, um, this is in no way the final product, but I'm learning and um, by you watching this, you can maybe learn a little bit too and uh, learn from my mistakes and what, what works and what doesn't. So I hope you like the video and I am actually aiming to fill up this big sketchbook, Very, uh, it's a very cheap one. I want to fill it up with the uh, paintings in this style and then I could, can see when how I was when I started and how much I uh, have learned at the end. I don't know if I will manage to finish it. It's, um, I only have these few pages painted. The pages are very thin, so I had a huge amount of pages to, to paint still. So uh, let's see, when I have enough pages filled up, I might make a sketchbook tour. I have not really ever made one of that a video of that kind but if I manage to paint a good amount of pages I will I will show you so I hope you are doing well and uh, and I will see you in my next video Bye.